Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use Slide Masters in PowerPoint to determine the default layout and appearance of presentation slides. When you add presentation slides and apply a slide layout, the slide is formatted according to the Slide Master specifications. Each Slide Master has several associated slide layouts. You can also use more than one Slide Master in a presentation if desired. You can create and customize your own slide layouts and slide masters in PowerPoint. You can then save these into a custom template for future use. To create and modify slide masters and slide layouts, click the Slide Master button in the Master Views button group or the Presentation Views button group for PowerPoint 2007 located on the View tab of the ribbon. This will display the slide masters and associated layouts. Each slide master within the presentation appears at the top of a hierarchy of connected slide layouts within this pane. Each associated layout is shown as a branch of the slide master. The current slide master and layout will appear selected in the slide pane at the left side of the window and displayed for editing in the main window. You will also see the new slide master tab appear in the ribbon. You can use the commands and buttons found in the button groups on this tab to make changes to the slide masters and associated slide layouts in your presentation. To insert a new slide master into the presentation, you can click the Insert Slide Master button to insert a new slide master and its associated slide layouts into the Slides pane. You can select a slide master in this, sli in this pane and associate a new slide layout with it by clicking the Insert Layout button. You can customize a slide master by selecting it in the Slides panel. Then select which default placeholders to apply by clicking the Master Layout button in the Master Layout button group on the Slide Master tab in the ribbon. Check the default placeholders you want to appear in the Slide Master and then click the OK button. To rename a selected Slide Master, click the Rename button in the Edit Master button group to open the Rename Master dialog box where you can enter a new name for the master into the master name text box. Then click the rename button to rename it. You can click the preserve button in the same button group to save the selected slide master with the presentation even if it is not actively used by any of the slides in the presentation. You can also click the Delete button in this button group to delete a custom slide master that you have created. You can select a slide layout that is associated with the slide master you have inserted and then add the desired placeholders to apply to the slide layout. To do this, select the slide layout in the slide pane. Then click the Insert Placeholder drop-down button in the Master Layout button group and select the type of placeholder to add from the drop-down menu. Then click and drag over the area in the slide layout where you want the placeholder to appear. Repeat this as needed until you have added the placeholders you want into the slide layout. You can check the title and footers checkboxes in the same button group to remove the display of these elements from the slide layout if desired. Like Slide Masters, you can select a custom slide layout and then click the Delete button in the Edit Master button group to delete it. You can also click the Rename button to rename it. Once you have finished customizing the slide masters and slide layouts, you can then click the Close Master View button in the Close button group on the Slide Master tab in the ribbon. So for our example here, we have inserted placeholders that are pictures. We can use this to apply company logos 
or other pictures that we want to apply to all of the different layouts within the slide master. You will also notice that our theme has carried over into the masters. So this will ensure that any new slide that we insert will still have the same theme so it will match all of the different slides into our presentation. Any changes that we make in the slide masters will also be applied to our new slides and to our existing slides that are already made into the presentation. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.